So off screen, I'm gonna have to do a lot of training. Okay, who's the other teachers? So we got, what's the language? Salvatore. What, Pokemon language? What is that? Let's do one more class and then we're done. students how are all, how are you all today feeling good I hope look at this man oh Ooh. hi I don't know about that cut there <laughs> I can't is that what is Salvatore when I saw his name I'm thinking French or something like that Italian I think that's Italian J. Mapele Salvatore my name is Salvatore I, I see that all the time and I have no idea how to say it. Uh, Messi, that is, thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm so happy for this chance. So now, after this, I feel like I have to look up French now or Italian just to confirm and listen to it for this chance to re experience my younger days with you all. You know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So just imagine I'm here to save you from spooky new languages. Huh? Funny. No? Uh-huh. Cute. Oh my goodness. A little too handsome? That's right. My classes will teach you about various languages from different regions. Really? You may say good morning or hello as a greeting, but people from elsewhere may say bonjour or salut. But in, in Pokemon? Well, it is an RPG, so you might see you might see different languages. <laughs> Just for, for no reason. Like like in Dragon Quest, for example, they're like, they're like ba the, the cities are like based on different like either countries or famous cities. Like Egypt. Like it'd be named after Egypt. So for example, the cities might be named after Egypt. Or something similar. I heard there's an even popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says, Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. There are so many regions out there in our world, and each have their own unique languages. Gracias, merci, cizi, that, ch that is Chinese. Gracias, Spanish, merci, Italian, French, arigato, Japanese, danke, that's German, right? These are all have the all same meaning. Can you guess what it is? Gracias. Arigato. Thank you. Danke. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Yeah. ZZ is Chinese. Doggy, was it? Bravo. That's correct. It's speaking up to important and language learning too. Gracias. Mercy. ZZ. These words. Give me eyes eye. I know it's Chinese. I don't want to say it. These words are all mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those, right? Despite meaning the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? Why would you put a language collection in this game? That's interesting. Now, a purpose of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, you should try and speak the local language as much as you can. I know! I was about to say something xenophobic or something. I don't know. Thank him. I don't know. Like, I feel like... I always told myself, like, if I, if I want to go anywhere, if I want to go international, i like to at least know the, the native language. Or at least... You know, in most cases, we... The countries, different countries, they have maybe a main primary language, but they'll have maybe six other languages that other people can speak, so... But I think I like the, the primary language. Even if you can't speak it very well. Yeah. I'm sure your willingness to try will make the people you meet very happy. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the local language will get you pretty far. 
For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and get your way. There's that pesky bell. I guess that's all for the time. That's all the time we have for today. Adios! Matane! Pro See you later, everyone. Ooh, that's too much. <laughs> that was too much.